Oh, hi guys. Uh, welcome to Buggy Monday at Drawing Club. Today we're drawing Beatrice the Butterfly. This is Beatrice the Butterfly. And to draw Beatrice, you will need a pencil and an eraser to erase any mistakes, and maybe a pencil sharpener if you break your pencil. And you will need a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline with. And you might want some color pencils um, or some color markers as well. But as usual, I am going to draw Beatrice using a gray marker, just so you guys can see what I'm doing. So Beatrice is going to start uh, with a sort of an oval shape for her head. Just like this. And then two more oval shapes to make her eyes. And remember, if I'm drawing too fast, you can always uh, stop the video and catch up. And then inside of her eye, we're gonna do two more circles to show the light, just like this. And one more line that we're gonna use for shading when we shade her eyes in. Just like that. And a little curving line for her smile. And then some long curving lines to show her antenna. So I'm just gonna follow that line again as closely as I can just like that. And the same again on the other side of her head. And start from there, curve it around, bring it down, and just following that line and trying to make it the same thickness. It won't be perfect, but that's fine. Just like that. Okay. Uh, for her body, we're going to make another oval shape coming down underneath her head, just like this. And then an even longer one. There, for the third part of her body, her abdomen. And next for her wings, we're gonna make big ovals. So really this drawing is just lots and lots of big curving shapes. So like that, and then another smaller oval shape coming out like that. And then I'm gonna trace around, or I'm gonna follow around the outside of that wing with a thinner line, like a kind of a border inside of her wing. Right to there. And then I'm gonna make a smaller oval just so I can color this a different color. Just like that. And then I'm going to give her three spots on her top wing. I'm just going to make a small circle and a big circle and a small circle. Just like that. And then on her lower wing, I'm going to give another bigger oval and then three small part circles spots on her lower wing just like that and for her other wings I'm going to try to copy what I did on this side again it's not going to be a perfect copy because you know I'm not a computer uh, I can't make a perfect copy but I'll do my best oh I just realized I forgot that Beatrice does have some little eyelashes coming out the sides of her eyes here of course a real butterfly does not have eyelashes <laughs> But this one is kind of a cartoon version, so we're going to give her some eyelashes. Okay, so I'm going to do another one of those big oval shapes for the outside of the top wing. And then a smaller curving shape for the bottom wing. And then I'm going to copy the same idea. I did this um, circle on the inside. I'll do another circle on the inside of this wing. 
just like that. And then I'll do another border on the outside, trying to make them look as even as possible. But again, like I said, it's never going to be perfect. So just like that. And then uh, three more circles on the other side to match the three we have already drawn. Three. And then a matching oval on the lower wing. Like that. And then some matching little circles or part circles for the bottom of the wing. Two. Three. And that is pretty much it for the uh, drawing part with your pencil. So we're going to move over and start using our outliner marker now. Okay, and so I'm just going to try to carefully trace over what I've already drawn. Um, so we've talked before, if you did the drawing um, or watched the the, um, the Going Buggy video about uh, caterpillars, we've sort of talked already about um, a little bit about butterflies, because of course, before a butterfly is a butterfly, um, it is a caterpillar. And... Um, We've also talked before that some caterpillars uh, turn into moths, and moths and butterflies are they're similar, but they're not really exactly the same. One of the big differences is these antenna. On a moth's antenna, you'll see they have these kind of feathers. It almost looks like a, a fern plant. Um, and also, um, butterflies you'll usually see in the day, and moths you will usually see at night. Um, but anyway, so once a caterpillar has eaten enough food um, and is ready, it, uh, it will go into a chrysalis and it'll change into a butterfly. And after it uh, comes out, of course, its body has completely changed. Uh, it doesn't have as many legs. A, a caterpillar has, um, well, it has six regular legs, but then it has a, a bunch of extra legs called prolegs. But once a butterfly comes out, a butterfly has six legs, like like all other insects. Now, I didn't draw them on this picture to make it more simple, but um, the six legs would come out of here from the thorax, which is that middle part. And so a butterfly has three main body parts, like all insects, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. And then the antenna here are for sensing things. They also have very good eyes. They have large... Um, compound eyes and it means that they can see colors very well and they can sort of they have a very wide range of what they can see and butterflies of course come in all kinds of shapes and colors some are really big and some are really small and some have um, I mean a lot of butterflies have very bright patterns some have um, what looks like eyes on their wings, which are sort of trick eyes so that they'll scare off if some sort of predator wants to come and eat them, then they can flash those, it looks like big owl eyes maybe, and it'll frighten away the animal that wants to try to eat them. Um, and then some butterflies have colors uh, that tell birds and bats and other animals uh, that they won't taste very good. One of the most famous is the monarch butterfly. Um, the monarch butterfly, as a caterpillar, um, is looks like a tiger. It's kind of yellow and black striped, and it it eats a plant called milkweed, which is poisonous. And then, um, so the caterpillar becomes poisonous to animals that would want to eat it, and even after it's changed into a butterfly, that butterfly is still poisonous. Um, so that it has these very bright colors that tell uh, other animals that you don't want to eat that. Um, like all insects, they have the skeleton on the outside of their body. It's called an exoskeleton. Um, and they have, now we didn't draw it here, but they have a very long, it looks kind of like a cross between a nose and a tongue. It's really more of a tongue, though. It's called a proboscis. And it's what they use when they fly into a flower because butterflies, um, they just sort of drink. They're not really big eaters. 
they drink uh, nectar out of flowers. And so they use that long tongue and they fly to the flower and they stick that tongue into the flower and they use it to sort of suck up um, that sweet nectar. One of the strangest things I think about um, butterflies is that they don't taste really with their proboscis. They taste with their feet, which I think is really cool and really weird. Um, so when they land on something, they sense through their, their the bottom of their feet, they've got some sort of um, hairs there, and those hairs let them taste whether or not that flower or whatever that thing is that they've landed on would be a good thing to eat or not. Um, so, for example, if you've ever been to a butterfly house, you might see that a lot of the butterflies um, will eat or they'll drink uh, orange juice from uh, orange slices. So if you slice an orange, um, you'll often find butterflies. And it's something you could even try in your own garden. You could put some orange slices out. Um, they might attract ants as well. <laughs> but um, but if there are butterflies around, they might stop and have a little, uh, a little drink. Um, one of the other amazing things... So uh, some butterflies... Um, do sort of hibernate and they can live through the winter um, by s sort of sleeping. Um, but one of the most famous, again, we have already mentioned the monarch butterfly is famous for a few reasons. One is that because it's, it's poisonous and has those beautiful bright colors. But the other reason is that the monarch butterfly um, migrates. So you might remember, I think we talked about migrating in another drawing club, when we talked about the piping plover, which is a kind of bird that we have here on Prince Edward Island. Um, so migrating means when um, an animal leaves a cold place and goes to a warm place in the winter. Um, and so the monarch butterfly will fly all the way from Canada down to Mexico or to California in, in the USA and they will stay there in the winter uh, in a bunch of trees and they will then come back all the way back up to uh, Canada for the summertime. And it's amazing to think that butterflies could fly that far. I, I think they sort of stop along the way in various places and new butterflies may be... Um, may be hatched, um, but it's quite an amazing thing. Okay, so there is Beatrice the butterfly. Uh, if you want to, I chose these uh, colors, but of course you can color her any colors you like, but I chose yellow for her body and her head uh, with a bit of green for her antenna, and then her eyes I made pink and dark blue, and then her wings I made a, mixes of, a mix of uh, pinks and purples, and I left these spots white, um, but you can color her any colors you would like. Okay, can't wait to see you guys again.